Hi all, my name is Anudeep. I am a civil services faculty in Kerala. Uh, have been working as a civil services faculty for past 5-6 years. And I am mainly located at Trivandrum. And this video uh, is mainly aimed to help you clear CSAT paper. Before starting the video, let me show you something. Uh, this was my marks in 2017 civil services prelims exam. If you look at GS paper 1, you can see that the score is pretty okay. I still remember, see my name is Anudeep. Uh, uh, this year, 2017, the national topper was Anudeep Duri Shetty, uh, one of the greatest uh, selfless mentor I have ever seen. I have seen a lot of his YouTube videos. I am a great fan of Anudeep Duri Shetty. But I checked his mark list also. Actually, he had less marks uh, in GS paper 1 than me. Still, uh, his main answers were exemplary, very fantastic and it is beyond comparisons at all. But if you look at my CSAT paper, you can see uh, 65.83 was my score. And I failed uh, CSAT paper to a very negligible margin. And this got me thinking, how can I clear CSAT paper? And this year, many of my friends failed CSAT too. Even last year, uh, some of my students scored more than 130 in civil services prelims, GS paper 1. But they failed in CSAT. That was also a great shock for me. So this video is aimed at a mission. The mission is that no one should fail CSAT, especially if you're weak at mathematics. See, I am only uh, average at solving mathematical questions, but I'm pretty good at solving English comprehension and reasoning type questions. See, after 2017, I have never failed in CSAT paper because my strong area was CSAT comprehension and I used to score very well in those sections. So in this video, I will be helping you people to solve CSAT comprehension so that even if you are not well versed in mathematics, you can clear paper. See, not every, see mathematics is not a cup of tea for everyone. Uh, most of the CSAT candidates or, or most of the people who are failing in the CSAT paper, they fail because they are not good at math. Even if you are not good at math, I can assure you that you can clear CSAT paper using comprehension and reasoning section. So stay with me for next few minutes and uh, I, am sh I can assure you that uh, your fear or CSAT phobia will be vanished away. See, my channel is uh, Anati Blogs and the most of the content in my channel is in Malayalam. But the CSAT video, I choose to do it in English because I want this video to reach all across India. Because I have seen many brilliant candidates who scored very well in uh, GS Paper 1, failed miserably at CSAT. So, uh, if you prefer, so you, uh, based on your comments and all, I will be continuing this series. So, in this uh, also, uh, forgot to tell you one thing. This is my Telegram channel. Uh, it crossed almost 3,500 subscribers this week. And the, this PDF will be made available uh, at this channel as well. Okay, if you wish, you can enroll to my uh, Telegram channel as well. Okay, you will be getting free mentorship programs. And if you prefer, we can start a separate CSAT discussion group in this channel itself. So that you can solve CSAT papers. And I can guide you guys. Okay. So let's go directly into a topic. And Voltaire, uh, apart from Andib Durishetti and all, uh, Voltaire was uh, one philosopher who had deep impact on my thinking process. This is one of his fav uh, famous sayings that common sense is not so common. In this video also, we will be sharing a CSAT resolving algorithm which is based purely on common sense. So I want you people to think in a common central way, not in a deep scholarly way. Okay, I will uh, explain the algorithm one by one. The first step of algorithm is that you should not read the comprehension first. Rather, you should read the options first. The first step is not reading the keyword or not even reading the comprehension you should go through the options first. 
and i want you people to use your gs knowledge smartly see i can assure you that uh, upsc won't be giving an orthodox or a scientifically inaccurate statement as a right answer in the cset paper so i want you people to use your general science knowledge smartly here so go through this option and eliminate extreme options and based on your gs knowledge are you able to find out the answer let okay i will uh, i there's a starting trouble for you guys so i will explain this paper and next question you will work it out on your own i can assure you that okay look at the first statement no man can live without adhering to some religious denomination see this is a very orthodox statement do you think that upsc would make this statement right doesn't matter what the comprehension passage was but do you really think that upsc would make such an unsecular statement right the upsc is all about secularism it is all about rationality so you can eliminate this statement what about b it is the duty of every person to propagate one's religious denomination see what about atheist see do you really think that such an orthodox statement would be made right by union public service commission no then let's go to option c religious denominations tend to ignore the unity of man yes this is something raja ram mohan roy uh, said earlier he was uh, all about monotheism right his famous book gift to monotheist and most of our socio religious reformers uh, has given up similar messages so this is a very rational statement c is a rational statement there is no extreme words there it's a very balanced and philosophical one so there is a probability that this statement might be true then let's go to option d men do not understand their own religious denomination no that's also uh, illogical statement right article 25 is there hmm? so uh, this statement doesn't makes any sense even if if you're confused then go to the comprehension find out any clue which can substantiate that statement there is no clue in this comprehension if you have doubt then you can read the comprehension come back and strike it down so the answer for this question is c see how much time you saved here each second you saves in the comprehension area you can invest it in doing mathematical questions or reasoning questions so this is the first step of algorithm sometimes we can find out the answer even without going through the comprehension so this is the uh, not this won't work every time that's when the second step of flow, uh, that algorithm comes around so just listen this is the first step and now you can go through the comprehension and find out the answer see you are not even required to bother this keyword also assumption inference etc this will come around in some other questions we need to focus here but this was an easy question at the first step of logarithm itself we got the answer okay so this is my channel uh, the practical malayali see to do all these type of exercises we need a stress free mind this is my channel focused in stress management personality development motivation etc again this channel is in uh, malayalam language if you prefer i can give you content in english language also this is my instagram uh, you can uh, follow my instagram pages as well the content is very similar okay and just go through this uh, options pause the video for few seconds try to find out the answer and then come back let's read the options first okay what is the first option sedition wars and breach of laws are inevitable in every dominion see it is a dominion right kerala is a dominion delhi is a dominion it is administered by governments do you think that this statement this uh, extreme negative statement would be right there are so many extreme words here said every dominion inevitable etc so you can eliminate this option you don't even need to read the comprehension here this is a smart way of answering questions see we need to do hard work i agree at the same time we need 
to do the smart work also. This is the smartest way to find answers. What about option B? It is not the people but the sovereign who is responsible for all the problem problems of any dominion. See, India is a sovereign socialist secular republican country. Do you think India is the major reason for all its problem? See, this statement is against the very establishment of state itself. Do you think that this option will be made right by UPSC? No. Then come to option C. The dominion is the best which pursues the aim of unity and has laws for good citizenship. This is a very balanced state. Okay. There is a highest probability that this statement can be right. There is no extreme words. Also, this is a philosophical statement, unorthodox statement, which is pro-people. This statement is very friendly towards the citizenry. It aims at uh, the establishment of a welfare state. Right. So, there is a high probability that this might be right. So, just encircle it and go through, go to the option D. Oh, that is also, option D is also an extreme statement. It is impossible for men to establish a good dominion. Do you think that statement would be right? If you are still confused, then go to the comprehension. Try to find out any clue which can substantiate that statement. There is nothing in this comprehension. If you will still have doubt, comment on the comment section. I will resolve your doubt. And this statement is also wrong. See, you using this algorithm, you reach the answer even without going through the comprehension. See, this is how I have been clearing CSAT paper after 2017. Okay, I go, I, I have researched, I have uh, gone through all the CSAT papers UPSC has published. And this is the end result. Take it from me. And you can apply the same logarithms in all the CSAT papers and find out the truth yourself. Okay, this is the answer for this particular question. Okay, now let's go to another question. So, what are, so what's the first step here? You should go through the statements, not this portion or not the comprehension part. Then you should use your GS knowledge smartly. Now, what would be the answer for this particular question? Pause the video, find out the answer and tell. What's the first statement? Too much globalization is not in the best interest of any country. There are lots of red flags here, too much, an extreme word is here. Uh, any country, which means suppose there is a very poor country and this, do you think that the UPC would give such a comprehension would imp, that, that would imply the spirit of globalization is not in the best benefit of any country? Okay, if you have doubt then encircle it and go to the comprehension try to find out clues which substantiate this question. There is no clues there. What about two? Modern technologies are increasingly blurring national, sorry, economic borders. This is very true. From a GS perspective, this is true. Three, innovation and capital have been impinged on the dominion of state. Again, this is very true. Public policy of every country should focus on developing its own supply chain. This is an extreme state. Look, every country, every country. See, one size fit all policy is not at all uh, encouraged by UPSC. Everything is unique. We need customized solutions for customized problems. Do you think this statement is right? See, if you can identify that this statement is extreme statement, this is a very wrong statement. This implies that every country in the world should isolate itself. See, the modern sensibility is that we should integrate, integrate with the global supply chain. Rather than focusing on the regional or subnational supply chain, we should focus on building global supply chain. The north south transit corridor concept is there. The China is building uh, one belt, one road initiatives. India's uh, initiatives are there. See, global supply chain is the major focus here. This is the thing. So, fourth statement is an absurd, extreme statement. Now look at the option. A is gone, D is gone. Right. But 2 and 3 must be right. So B is there, C is there. See, first statement is also an extreme one. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to the other option. Geopolitics will have to reconcile to the many ambiguities and uncertainties. 
again i have told you before a philosophical statement is a very open ended statement which can be subjected to deep uh, interpretations the scope of this statement is so large that we cannot challenge this statement can you challenge or argue against this statement that's the thing here we cannot disprove this statement this is a philosophical unorthodox progressive way forward type statements these types of philosophical statements will be right almost all the time 99.9% of the time philosophical statements will be right or a way forward type of statements will be right you can go through all the previous question papers this is the thing there so this is the smart algorithm you can use to resolve your csi issues so fifth answer should be there then look at the option only see how uh, statement number 5 this see the option a is also an extreme statement if you see over a period of time you will develop a skill to identify the extreme statements that person what he would do he or she would identify this as a wrong statement and eliminate all the options with option a and uh, that person will directly come to option c this is the beauty of this algorithm i call this anudeep's algorithm uh, you can follow it i can assure you that you will easily clear csat paper that too by using comprehension okay uh, you should also work out on uh, reasoning as well and in mathematical area you will have uh, at least two three questions which can be easily solved by anyone you should get that three four marks from mathematical section and all the marks from comprehension section and most of the marks from reasoning section so this is the best way to do it okay so this is uh, that thing 40 second question but not every time this would work okay now uh, let's go to another question okay you can go through the statement and find the answers yourself okay this is another question i have always told you never read the paragraph this is reverse engineering you should always go through the options first go through this options low intensity lights has more adverse effect on plants compared to high intensity light this is a gs question most of you might not be aware about this but uh, okay then just leave this just answer we cannot eliminate that option right at this moment at least at this moment we cannot eliminate this statement what about b light pollution can have a permanent adverse impact on ecosystem light pollution is becoming a thing now because in india we don't have strong legislations against light pollution we have legislations against you know noise pollution water pollution even nuclear radiations are there but not against this thing so this can also be right what about c white light is better for flowering of plants as compared to light of other colors is this right use your gs knowledge red light in the electromagnetic spectrum influences photosynthesis than any other light so this is wrong from gs perspective even if you don't know that fact don't worry we can come to the answer in an another way what is the t proper intensity of light in an ecosystem is important not only for plants but also for animals too this is also right statement so here the first step of algorithm fails because there are three rational statements here at this time what you should do this is the second step of anudeep's algorithm you should read the keyword here only at this point of time should you read the keyword then you should read the comprehension that's the way to do it critical inference is the keyword here see what is mean by inference see inference is something which is not directly mentioned in the in that passage inference is something which we uh, deduce from the passage by connecting the dots so inference it should not be directly mentioned in the passage rather it should we may to infer it from the passage by connecting different dots in that passage okay now let's go to the question just uh, read this paper uh what about option a it is explicitly mentioned here that light uh, is two different types of lights are exposed yes the low intensity amber lights inhibit 
the flowering of plants. So the statement number one is explicitly mentioned here. So this is not inference. This is something explicitly mentioned in the comprehension. So this is not inference. So you can eliminate this. So now it's a question between B and D. B and D. Okay. See, now we again go through the statements. Yes. Let's look at the statement. And go back to the options again. Both of them can be right. But uh, the philosophy of UPC is that if you think more than one answer is the right answer, then you should eliminate or you should choose the most appropriate statement. So this is what you have to do here. You have to choose the most appropriate statement here. Which would be the most appropriate statement. See, look at the scope of each statement. B talks about ecosystem. And D talks about plants and animals. Which is the most broad and wide statement which have unlimited scope. Ecosystem or plants and animals. See, ecosystem consists of biotic and abiotic components. But here it talks only about plants and animals. So if I am in this place, I will choose this thing. Because this option is more broad and wide. Because critical inference demands a wide concept, a broad and deep concept. See, someone might argue that uh, this is an extreme statement, right? Light pollution can have permanent adverse impact on ecosystem. See, this is an extreme statement. Still, it's a right statement. Just visualize. Just visualize. Uh, there's a rainforest. And there's a high intensity light, artificial light. Uh, we are continuously pouring on the rainforest. It will get destroyed. The birds, animals, everything's circadian rhythm will get uh, disturbed. Some species even might go extinct. So this is absolutely possible extreme statements. This is what I told you earlier. Use these techniques smartly. Just visualize an example. This is possible. This is an absolutely possible statement. And also, when we compare B and D, the scope of B is extremely high than D. This talks only about plants and animals, but this talk, option B talks about the entire ecosystem as such. You can, again, you can go through this uh, in their comprehension. You can find, see, I will upload this PDF in the group, okay? Uh, you can download it from my Telegram channel as well. I will uh, give the link of my Telegram channel in the comment section and in the description page. So this is the second step of algorithm. And what about this 13? Just go through uh, the options and see whether you can find the answer. What is option A? Computers are not completely safe. That's a true statement, so it can be right. See, some might, someone might argue that this is an extreme statement. No, this is not an extreme statement. Computers are not at all safe. That is an extreme statement. Or computers are very safe. That's an extreme statement. But this statement is at the middle portion. Computers are not completely safe, which means it is safe to an extent. But to some extent, it is not safe. So this is a balanced statement. So this can be right. What about B? Companies producing softwares do not take cyber security seriously. What an absurd statement is that? See, Apple or Samsung, all those big corporates, those who are producing computers, the, the statement says that they are not taking it seriously. See, they might fail to do their task. That's an entirely different thing. But still, they take this thing very seriously. They might not be able to perform in a high standards with respect to computer safety. Still, they take things seriously. So this statement can be argued and this statement can be nullified. See, should the statement be like computer producing companies or com companies producing softwares are unable to ensure cyber security, then that's a true statement. But this statement implies the companies are not bothered in uh, ensuring cyber security. That's a wrong statement. They are very serious in it. But at times they might fail uh, in doing their duty. That's an entirely different thing. So in that perspective, this is wrong. Still, if you are not able to uh, resolve this question, you should go back to comprehension and read the comprehension. And you can find out that this is not at all mentioned there. What about C? 
stringent data security laws are needed. Yes, this is also can be right. This is a very good statement. What is D? The present trend of communication technologies will affect our lives in future. Yes, absolutely right statement. So here we cannot eliminate all the three statements. What, what is the next step of our logarithm? When you are unable to find the answer using your GS knowledge, you should encircle the keyword critical inference, critical inference. Then you should go to the comprehension. So critical inference means something which is not explicitly mentioned in the passage, but it should be derived from the passage connecting each dots in that passage. Just read the comprehension. Yes, there is trustworthiness issues, hackers are there, internet of things concept is there. At the beginning of the question itself, computers are increasingly, not just abstract data, yes, vulnerable human bodies, modern cars, MRI scanners. So again, go back to the option, which is the most critical inference here. Again, you should choose the options with more uh, scope. The main theme of this passage is cyber security. If you, uh, this is the next step. You should identify the theme of the passage. What is the main theme of this passage? The answer will be correlated to that theme itself. The theme of this passage is cyber security. Let's visit those options again. Again, computers are not completely safe. This is a very balanced, perfect statement. Data security laws are needed. But more than data security laws, they are saying that computers are not completely safe. Which is which option have most uh, more depth or which option have more uh, scope? Computers are not completely safe option or data security option. See this includes this also. Computers are not completely safe. This statement can contain this statement also. This is an umbrella statement under which this statement can also survive. Which means this is the most appropriate answer. D is not an inference, rather it's a it's explicitly mentioned here and it's not an inference as such. Okay, so this is how you have to find the answer. Again, uh, there are so many steps to this algorithm. Using those steps, we can find most of the answers. And I want you all to go through this particular paper, 2021 paper. If you want second part of this video, if you want to know more steps of this algorithm then please let me know i will definitely make a ne next part and please put your comment feedback everything at the comment section and uh, let me know if you want me to continue this series thank you all uh, see you all soon bye